Welcome everyone. Welcome to Avini Vibes. Tonight we have a very, very special night and uh, we did change the time. So if you're tuning in early or you're, you're uh, just tuning in, we're just getting underway now. We are in um, Campbell Hall, New York, believe it or not, physically at St. Therese School. So we're doing Avini Vibes a little bit different tonight and we're really blessed to be here with uh, an amazing leader of the school. I wish you could see her. She's coming on in a minute. Um, our headmistress here. Uh, and we're excited to be with Avini Vibes tonight because of our guest speaker as well. But I want to let you know, Avini is a special company, special to all of us. If you're a guest, you're going to learn tonight how special it is. Uh, just remember, we don't make any medical claims. We don't diagnose or treat. Uh, we just here to educate and learn, learn from one another. And, and most importantly, tonight we're blessed to have our vice president, Doug Dickey, in the house with us. And he's going to share an amazing presentation with us. If you don't mind, just a couple housekeeping. Uh, if you're go ahead and mute, that would be great. If you have a question, when we get to that, we can raise your hand or Doug will just ask if there's a question when he's ready to facilitate yeah. that. So I'm just going to be quiet with that. My name is Christine Rolando. Um, your host with Carol Witt, Avini Vibes, Dr. Chip's in the room too. So thank you for being here and welcome. Welcome to Avini Vibes tonight. Doug, thank you for being with us. The floor Absolutely, my pleasure. My pleasure. Uh, I'm excited to uh, share this presentation. Um, Paul Stowers and I have been working on a presentation uh, to shorten it up quite a bit. And I think we're pretty close. We're adding a couple extra things in this week, but... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen for those that want to follow along. And we'll be <clears throat> also be sharing some testimonials to a video um, starting out here soon. But the reason we're here is I want to talk to people um, a little bit about what, what health is to us. We, uh, we think about being healthy. Um, it's, it's interesting, most of what I believed for 30, 40 years, I found not to be true. And so I want to ask you to have an open mind when you're listening to this presentation about, about health, what, what true health is. So we're going to talk about the problem, the company's solution, where you fit in, and, and some next steps. And so, you know, when, when you're choosing health, it, it really boils down to learning how to supply the body with everything that needs while also keeping it free of the things that it doesn't need. And, you know, health is not really valued until sickness comes. We, we tend to spend most of our health trying to make money, and then we spend all of our money trying to get our health back. So let's discuss a little bit about how to be healthy. Um, we're told that to be healthy, we need to eat the right foods, you know, organic, uh, vegetable-based. Um, we're, we're supposed to eat, you know, high quality, fresh vegetables, fruits, and that. Um, however, we're also told that the soils are overworked and, and maybe don't have all the nutrients and vitamins and, and uh, therefore we need to supplement the missing parts would so be vitamins or minerals or whichever. So we're supposed to eat good nutrition, supposed to supplement, uh, of course, exercise to get our blood flowing. We're told to exercise, walk so many, uh, you know, steps a day, get our steps in. Uh, you know, some of the other things that we're supposed to do is drink lots of water, you know, fresh, clean water. Also get really good sleep. If I was in the room with you, I would ask you guys and get two or three uh, ideas that pretty much everybody knows these are what you need to be healthy. But I want to ask you this question. How many of you know people who have eaten right 20, 30, 40 years their whole lives? They drink lots of water, they exercise, they get great sleep, they do everything the way that we're taught, and they still come down with health issues severe health issues. A friend of mine uh, who's never done anything yucky, has eaten completely well, ends up with lung cancer. Never smoked, doesn't work in a mine, sort of crazy, right? And so 
we all know people who do everything right and yet they still end up ill. And so what I want to suggest is, is that it's tied to this, that as humans, we're living in a toxic environment. It's leading to many of these unhealthy conditions. Uh, I, I use the example, you know, if there's 20 of us in the room, we could all go to the hospital, have doctors work on us and, and look at our health, come up with 20 different issues. But what I want to suggest, and I hope to prove this tonight, is that it's really just one issue, toxicity. And so we'll, we'll kind of go through this step. So where do these toxins come from? What are the health effects? Let's start with agriculture. You know, we have water filters to filter out the contaminants in the water. We have air filters to filter out the air. Uh, who here has a food filter? You know, we are the food filter, right? What contaminants that go in the body, uh, they stay in the body. Our body doesn't have a good way to get rid of them, especially not at the rate we're taking them in. So mostly from agriculture, from the soils, from fertilizers, from pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, fungicides, they add heavy metals in there to make them systemic. And then even, you know, again, that's the food. We do get stuff from the air. Uh, everybody's aware of um, when you're braking your car, your brake pads, which are made out of metal, they put fine little filaments in the air. Um, eventually they wear down. Where did all those particles of the brakes go? Exhaust from diesel vehicles and cars. Metals and toxins that are in that goes into the air, circulates around, eventually ending up in our body. Or it ends up in the water. Again, we drink water. Certain uh, chemicals and toxins end up in the water. And we're talking safe levels. We're talking levels that are parts per billion or parts per trillion. So you wouldn't notice any difference. It would just go right in. But over time, considerable, let's say 40 years, when you start feeling like you're old, maybe you've accumulated 40 years worth of safe levels of metals and chemicals and toxins. So we'll start household chemicals. Everybody knows that you can make drugs and a bomb from things that are underneath your sink. Um, again, petroleum, I talked about manufacturing. There's over 70,000 known chemicals. So we're inundated with them. So what are some of these chemicals? Uh, let's start here. Heavy metals. Um, the National Institute of Health says that, uh, that most of the issues that we deal with at the hospital are caused by five heavy metals. Small amounts accumulated chronically over time. Mercury, lead, arsenic, cadmium. Uh, this one mentions thal thallium, but there's nickel, there's chromium. Those are all taking number five position. And so you could have an acute toxic event. You fall in a vat of mercury and, and that would be dealt with differently at the hospital. But almost everybody, it's chronic amounts. One, two, three particles every cup of rice. Um, we know that rice is, is high in arsenic. We know that chicken has arsenic. We know that pork has arsenic. We know that the vegetables, the fertilizers used on the vegetables have arsenic. And what does arsenic do to the body? And we know that too. And then of course, severe, when it builds up, we end up with lots of challenges. And it's well known, an easy, easy Google search whatever health issue you don't want, and then type in heavy metals, and you'll see millions of studies and articles on it. And so we also have volatile organic compounds, PFAS, as well as microplastics, which I think there's several pounds of microplastics for every man, woman, and child in the world. And it's not necessarily the plastic, it's the volatiles that are inside the plastic, the organotins that are so harmful. As they break down, these things get stored in our body, interact with the body just like heavy metals do, and the PFAS, 
And so those cause issues at a cellular level, metabolism, protein synthesis, cellular division, they're all affected by these chemicals, heavy metals, and toxins. So in the news, people have, like I mentioned, rice, most everybody's aware that rice has arsenic. High levels, doesn't matter whether it's white or brown. Um, it, it's, it's a level that's much higher than it should be. Um, fast food restaurants were were tested. Every single one of them failed. They found heavy metals, lead, and cadmium in every fast food restaurant. Uh, flame retardants. Any kid uh, over six years old, under six years old, is in fire retardant treated clothing. Uh, popular drinks. Again, metals and toxins in them. We're we're now taking the the wood chips out. And we're putting in artificial turf for children's playgrounds loaded with chemicals. Several studies done just last year. Uh, again, supplements. They even find supplements with heavy metals, chemicals, toxins. Now, we're not talking about enough that would harm you for taking one bottle of supplements. We're talking about over 10 years or 20 years or 30 years. When do you start to feel tired and worn down and, oh my gosh, I'm getting old. Think of that as maybe the time of accumulation where you're now starting to, you have a certain amount of toxins in your body that's now starting to interact with you. By the way, toxins tend to cause the body to make more fat. So if you're, if you're fighting against fat and it's winning, it's often due to toxins. And then even before we're born, the Environmental Working Group uh, basically talked about over 200 chemicals, metals, and toxins were found in the baby. More than 240 were found in the, in the cord blood, and then 273 found in the mother. So even the cord, which is a filter, is not filtering enough of the metals and toxins that even before the baby's born, they're already susceptible to infection, already having issues simply passed on from the mother as she reaches homeostasis with the baby. So these are, these are um, in the news. I, I was really upset when I found out chocolate has four out of five of these metals in it. And chocolate's one of my favorite things. So in 2018 alone, the effects of contaminants found in America's food and water contributed to, they estimate, $226 billion in healthcare costs. And most people are completely unaware. They're completely unaware that the, the disease or syndrome that they're struggling with is tied to or linked to these heavy metals, chemicals, and toxins and how they interact on the body. And so what can we do about this? How long, how much buildup of these heavy metals, toxins, and chemicals does it take before you start to have a critical health failure where you start to be sore, there's an issue, your own metabolism changes, all of these things, at what point that is. And so, I want to read something from the NIH. This was this was as far back uh, talked about as far back as 1982. As it turns out that many if not all of the health issues causing people to feel exhausted, stressed, sick or even suffering from illness may have links to heavy metal toxicity, specifically five of them, the five I mentioned. PFAS, volatile organic compounds and of course microplastics. These toxins interfere with normal cellular me mechanisms like protein synthesis and metabolism. They are known to cause changes in our DNA over multiple generations. Your great-great-grandfather who may have worked in a mine has passed on some of those toxins through the DNA. And we're finding that in epigenetic research nowadays. Now, this is a video um, I often play. I'm not going to play it today, but you can find this at nutritionfacts.org. It's called The Effects of Too Much Arsenic in Your Diet. And it's just talking about rice. 
people eat a cup of rice a day or twice a week, they they talk about and link to so many issues concerning heart, you know, arrhythmias, um, blood sugar issues. These things are all linked to arsenic in the diet, chronic levels like what you get in your food day after day. And so, and you can watch this. It's, it's a free on uh, nutritionfacts.org. So we will never be able to rid our modern world of the toxic problem. The idea of, well, I eat clean, I eat organic. Well, sorry to let you know, organic has three times the metals in it than regular fertilized foods. Lot, lots less chemicals, but more metals. And you can easily Google that. And why is that? Because we're using manures. The cow didn't eat organic hay. The cow ate regular hay, which had these metals and chemicals in it, passes it through her body, comes out the back end with the manure. We take that manure, we put it in with some water and spray it on our organic crops. And then we wonder why there's more metals and toxins in there. So a lot of what we believe isn't really true. This idea that we just eat well and will be healthy isn't true. And so is there a solution? I mean, I come up with this term, we can't out nutrition, toxicity, disease. We can't do it. There's adding more good nutrients does not replace the bad toxins that are in the way. And so here's our solution. So we have a company called Avini Health, roughly two years old, a little over two years old. Uh, myself and Neil Roth, our CEO, and his uh, business partner is Rick Deitch, our biochemist. He's absolutely brilliant. He has been working in the nutrition field for 25 to 30 years. Everything he touches is literally amazing. He's He's got one of these binds that everything he, he has read in the past, he can recall on, de, on demand. If he understood it, he can recall it. And so he put together um, a product that can remove these toxins from us. And I'll go into that in just a minute. We are we have a, a Florida warehouse, 18,504 square feet, where we make all the products. We, we go from the ingredient all the way to shipping. Everything's handled by us directly uh, in Boca Raton, Florida. And the uh, our mission statement's really clear. Get the products out to people that need them. Ship them quickly and do it through word of mouth, advertising face-to-face, -face, uh, word, word of mouth from, from one person to another. So we use distributors who can share the value of this product and their testimonial with other people. And everybody can, can buy product and, and everybody can, uh, can get involved if they choose to. So the product that I'm talking about is called Cell Defender. Now imagine for yourself a volcano throws all this ash and debris into the air millions of years ago, goes into the air, settles out. Well, when some of that ash lands in salt water, it turns into a crystalline cage-like rock. It's, it, it's ground up into powder nowadays and it is it contains water inside. It's a cage-like structure, negatively charged on the inside one of the few minerals that's negatively charged. And it's aluminum silicate, just like sand, but again, cage-like. And so Rick was introduced to this, pro this product and he found some issues with it. I wanna play this video of Rick talking himself about, about this product. Let's see if it works. I'm Rick Deitch, the Chief Scientific Officer of Avini Health, and I'd like to talk to you about Cell Defender. 
See, first of all, you have to understand that all of us are toxic. We live in a toxic world. There's heavy metals, volatile organic compounds in the air we breathe, the food we eat, the water we drink. And all of us have mechanisms in our body to excrete those toxins. The problem is our exposure is much higher than our ability to excrete. And so toxins build up in our bodies over time. And the body tries to protect us by hiding those toxins in metabolically inert or inactive tissue, mostly fat and bone. Over time, that toxic level gets higher and higher and higher, and it impedes health. It impedes our ability to heal. And so you need to do something to avoid toxic exposure, to mitigate the risk of toxic exposure, and to actively detoxify. And there's lots of different modalities for detoxification, but most of them equate to really just going to the bathroom. Uh, there are laxatives and diuretics that, as long as you're getting stuff out of your body, we call that detox. But that's not really detoxification. The best thing we've ever found, really, in the last century for detoxification is using natural zeolites. So what is a zeolite? A zeolite is a natural compound that's formed in volcanic eruptions. When a volcano erupts, the lava and the ash goes into salt water and it forms these crystal cage-like structures. So zeolites have a cage-like structure and a negative charge, making one of the few negatively charged minerals found in nature. Because of the cage-like structure negative charge, zeolites can draw to themselves, trap within themselves, a variety of different positively charged compounds. Now, different zeolites do different things. We use a zeolite called clinoptilolite. Clinoptilolite has been used for over 800 years in traditional medicine for improving general health. And the cool thing about clinoptilolite is because of its structure and its poor sizes, it loves small, highly charged metals, and it doesn't like bigger metals with a lower charge. It just so happens that all the stuff in nature that's bad for us is small and highly charged. That's mercury, lead, cadmium, arsenic, tin, bismuth, aluminum, antimony, and all stuff that's good for us is bigger with a lower charge. Magnesium, calcium, phosphorus, sodium, potassium. So the zeolite loves the bad stuff and doesn't like the good stuff. So when you ingest it, it sucks up all the bad stuff and goes out of your body. I realize if we're gonna really use this for human detoxification, we had to do something about it. We had to fix the natural zeolite. So really created by nature and perfected by science. The two things we needed to do was make it smaller and clean it out. Because zeolite in the mine site, when they mine it, are huge particles. They were from five microns to 200 microns, like a rough granular sand. You ingest that, it's not getting into the bloodstream. It's just staying in the digestive tract. So every other zeolite product out there doesn't really know how to properly standardize, micronize the zeolite. And so you have all sorts of ranges of product size. So we, through many years of research, have come up with a micronization process. We get a standard particle size of less than one micron. Anything smaller than two microns can be absorbed. Less than micron, one micron, you know it's being absorbed. And the smallest particles are even smaller than 500 nanometers, half a micron. So that means when you ingest this product, it gets absorbed from the digestive tract into the bloodstream and goes all over the body where it can remove toxins and heavy metals. The second thing is zeolites in nature are dirty. When you get the zeolite from the mine site, it's full of toxins, heavy metals, volatile organic compounds. And that's because zeolites are nature's filter. When you have a zeolite mine site and water flows over it and air blows through it, it's sucking those things out from the environment. We measure the toxins that come off it through our activation process, and some of them we couldn't identify. So we sent it out to a third-party lab, and it came back as diesel fuel exhaust. Just think about that. That means the actual mining equipment that's mining the zeolites, creating toxins, the zeolites pulling in. And so if you have a company that's selling a zeolite product that is not doing our activation process, you're ingesting that. You're ingesting that diesel fuel exhaust along with the other toxins that are naturally in the zeolite. So we have an activation process that's labor intensive, that drives off the heavy metals, drives off the volatile organic compounds to clean out the zeolite to make it the most active. So when you ingest it, it's got tons of space to pull in toxins from the body. The example I use there is the sponge uh, in your kitchen sink. If the sponge is all dirty, you can't clean your counters with it. You can't clean your plates with it. But if you clean out that sponge and squeeze it out, now it can suck up all sorts of toxins, all sorts of things can clean up your kitchen. And there's a lot of knockoff products out there, but nobody understands the technology. Nobody has made a product that even comes close to a Vini Cell Defender. So what does it do? It takes out compound, takes out toxins and volatile organic compounds from the body to make a cleaner, healthier body. And so doing, 
it improves the immune system. So it stabilizes immune system health. And lastly, it actually stabilizes pH. It raises our pH to alkaline levels, so we're in a, a healthier state. You're going to hear tons of testimonials about how this has changed people's lives. And time and time and time again, people tell me how this works and how it made them heal this or prove that. I'm telling you, it really only does one thing. It takes things out of the body that don't belong, and a cleaner, healthier body fixes itself. Everybody needs this product. When they hear about it, everybody wants this product, and it's the only place to get it, Avini Health and Avini Cell Defender. I love that video because he explains it so well, way better than I could do it. And this video is available for online for people to send out to to others. So that way we can share the word about uh, what the product does. And so Rick put this product together. Uh, it's been out there for, for several years. He just started... Uh, using it through Avini two years ago when we formed Avini as his company. And so we have the biochemist as owner of the company. That is an amazing thing. Um, Rick Deitch, category creator um, of Cell Defender. Uh, we call it, it's branded Detoxolite, this process that's cleaned. Um, he was the original that set up the micronization and activation process. It's the only liquid suspended zeolite clinoptilolite out there. And it works incredible. 15 clinical studies that are subject to this product. So we really have something special with this. How do you take it? Very, very simple. You pull the cap off, you shake it a little bit, pull the cap off, put 10, 15 drops in your mouth. You can do that as often as you want throughout the day, once an hour, twice a day, four times a day, whichever. And so there's very, very simple uh, ability to detox. Like he mentioned, we have lots of Avini testimonials, over 1,350 index testimonials that you can see at avinitestimonials.com. It uh, is basically a place there that you can type in the symptoms of something and you can hear from others directly about their experiences. So I've been asked to, to uh, share um, another video. I'll, I'll do that here in just a minute. I wanna sort of walk through the rest of this and then I'll share another video. So what do we want? Um, where do you see yourself fitting in? You know, partic participation is the key. Do you want to learn more? Get more information from the person that uh, that told you about it. Uh, watch some more videos. Hear of how it might uh, affect you and be beneficial to you. Um, you can buy, of course, from the person that shared and try some product yourself as a retail customer. Or you can also get involved and share the products with other people and help others get a second chance on life like myself. And just a couple more slides. We sell it in packs for people who want to get involved. Uh, it's a lifetime membership, no monthly commitments whatsoever or annual fee, voluntary. Uh, there's nothing that's forced upon anybody and no cost on business opportunity for those that are interested in that. So don't underestimate the dangers of heavy metal and toxic exposure. We, we're completely unaware of how many times a day that you were being attacked by heavy metals, chemicals, toxins, how they're getting into your body. And this toxic world is dying for a solution. Avini Health needs you to help bring this to other people. There may be people that you know uh, so once you have tried the product, and if you love the product, we ask you to get involved. And to us, that's such a valuable thing. And then we have other products. We have a bunch of supporting products. Uh, this one here shows a cardio care product for heart health and cardiovascular health. We have a plus mind and vision that helps with, of course, your mind and vision. And then um, I want to play a video here. I'm going to stop sharing. We have a product called Zimmunity, which helps your body get rid of these toxins 
at a much faster rate, 15 times faster than your normal detox channels. And so I want to play a video here, um, if I can find it. Uh, now, somebody named Stephanie Cook, who, who took the product and um, this product causes immunity, and she'll share her, her testimony. Can you see the video? Not yet. Okay, let me put it out here. Let me uh, change this a little bit. Here we go. All right, now you can see it? Yes. Okay. Let's see if it'll start. One thing that I have not shared with too many people, but I've shared with my friend, I have dealt with, I've dealt with suicidal issues and thoughts since I was 12. And it was a constant thing. And, you know, something that my counselor once said to me, she's like, I told her that, you know, isn't this normal? And she's like, no, people don't have those normal thoughts. Those aren't normal thoughts. And like, I've just dealt with them since I was 12 years old. And I've just, and I've had a really low moment in February. And in March, it just so happened that things fell into play and we went to the Las Vegas summit and learned about, my husband and I learned about, you know, more of the products. I had been using the Plex release and I have a great story there, but I'm not going to share that today. But uh, we learned about the other products. And so we went home, we did blood work and then we started taking them. And within just a couple of weeks, my suicidal thoughts that I had dealt with, with for 30 something years were gone. And it has been life changing. And I was talking to a friend and she was telling me that she had, you know, someone that she knew that was also dealing with that. And, you know, she needed this product. And I'm like, well, wait, let me make sure which one it is that's doing it. And so I systematically removed myself from different products to figure out what was going on because I was seeking all of them. And, and I learned, you know, by doing that, which ones were too big, what the thing for me. And for the Minity product takes away my suicidal thought. And I have shared that with multiple people and handed them to multiple people and had them receive the exact same result through, you know, through that. And, and so that's one of those things that for me, that has been life changing because it's something that I have dealt with for 30 something years on a daily basis. And I no longer deal with and and it has, like I said, it's been, it's been life changing. So I, I do the other product. I have story for each one of them, but I learned which ones cost which thing. But, but that one, that one has been the most life changing for me personally. I love that. <clears throat> the, let me uh, stop sharing here. The, the power in people sharing their own testimonies, we have hundreds like that uh, for each of the products. And in, in the past, we've gone through each of the products, but it makes for a very long um, Zoom. And so I wanted to touch on that one. The Zoomunity is, is simply a uh, seven medicinal mushrooms uh, blended and grown in a specific way that concentrates um, a couple chemicals called 1,3 and 1,6 beta glucans, which are very beneficial for the body in turning down the hyperimmune switch. So when you're detoxing 15 times faster than normal, 
you want to make sure that the hyperimmune switch doesn't doesn't click on and you and you freak out. And so your body, uh, the immunity enhances your ability for the body to detox without feeling a detox. And there's other benefits, uh, allergies, and and other things like that. Very incredible product. Everybody loves it. Uh, it's just really amazing. Uh, so Cell Defender, removing the metals and toxins from your body. That's our, our main product, what we call the tip of the spear. And then uh, we have a fiber, we have a nano silver. Each of those products help the body detox. I figured what we might do, Christina, is open it up for questions. Is that something you'd like to do? Absolutely. Um Please, if anyone has it in the Zoom, do you have any questions here? Uh, you want to come up here and ask the question? We're going to have someone come up to the computer and ask a question. Remember, remember no medical claims or... Uh... Yes, yeah, we'll leave medical terms and medical claims out of any question, yep. All right. Am I on? Yeah, you are. Okay. All right, I just wanted to know more. Um, I'm a new distributor. And I just want to know more about the nano silver. Sure. Yeah, I can I can tell you about that. So we have a product called Nano Silver. It is spherical shaped, seven to ten nanometer spheres. So every drop, to put it in perspective, seven to ten nanometers. Uh, every drop has about nine hundred and ninety five billion particles in it huge, huge amount of these teeny, teeny small particles. Your fingernails grow at about seven nanometers a second to put that in perspective. That's how small that is. And the product is, its intention is to, silver, of course, we've known is antiviral, antibacterial, has antifungal and antiparasitic properties. And so, What's really special about ours is it's completely safe. A lot of silver that that's uh, that's made out there, even people making some at home, will not leave the body. Some of it stays in the body and over time can turn your skin blue or gray, even internally. Even internal organs can turn color. And what happens is it's the wrong size to interact with viruses or bacteria, and it doesn't leave the body. This is stabilized, not using chemicals like the majority of all silvers out there, but it uses a, a frequency that causes the outer um, skin of the silver particle to become oxidized. So you have this tetrahedral skin-like structure around each particle, and then it's held in, in suspension by the water. It actually attaches to an electron on the oxygen of the water. So what that means for you is you drink it, it goes into your body, goes all the way around the body, but leaves your cells alone. It doesn't want anything to do with your cells because of a, a frequency thing, but it'll attach to bad bacteria, not good bacteria. It'll attach to viruses. It'll attach to other things that might want to harm you. And it exposes them, the body takes care of them, and then you pee out the silver. Within 24 hours, 100% of the silver particles are out of your body. And it's really powerful because it's safe. We can do high, high concentrations, and all of it leaves your body. You could actually freeze the water, and the silver will not let go of the water. It's, it's bound to the water, and it holds on to it. That allows it to be safe in your body. So imagine if you're removing metals and toxins from areas of your body, let's say a kneecap, right? And your body takes the toxins there, puts it back in the bloodstream where it gets captured by the cell defender, zeolite, and removes it. We, we know that viruses and bad bacteria and parasites congregate around heavy metals and other toxins. So now they might be going through the body now that we've cleaned up that area. And so we need the silver to reduce the load or burden on the body that's that's biological. And yet it doesn't harm your probiotic bacteria. 
and it, it's just amazing. It's it's a wonderful silver. People have uh, incredible results, and all of it leaves your body within 24 hours. So that makes it safe where the majority of silvers out there are not safe, especially ionic. Ionic is a silver that's that's so small, atom-sized, that it it's highly reactive, very, very effective, mm -hmm. but also causes the same levels of disease that arsenic and cadmium and mercury do because it is a heavy metal in its ionic state. And there's lots of people out there drinking it, having no idea that it's harming them. Wow. Ours is safe and effective and affordable. There is two better silvers that I know of. They're roughly $3,000 an ounce. Ooh. Nobody can afford that. So really, really powerful and safe, effective, and not $3,000 an ounce. So I have both the, the liquid and the Volon. So how much of the liquid should you or would you suggest that you digest daily or is it one time a day or multiple times? You can and use it all throughout your body as a spray. Uh, we suggest five sprays twice a day in the mouth. Um, I like the idea that, you know, okay, you're going to go on a trip and you want to sort of help protect your body against uh, things in airports or whatever. Mm -hmm. I take the cap off, drink one ounce, just drink one ounce. Uh, you can do, you can drink up to 55 gallons a day because your body gets rid of it. 55 gallons a day. Uh, nobody drinks that much. Uh, usually it's an ounce once a week is what I suggest. Mm. The bottle comes uh, $75 wholesale. It comes with four ounces in it. And so you can drink an ounce a week. That gets you through the month. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And the gel is amazing. Put the gel on your hands, mm. put it on your face. I know people put it on their face and in weeks, it is amazing what it does for the skin on your face. Okay. Oh. I haven't shaved in a week, so. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, it, it is amazing for the skin. I've been putting it on my husband's head. It kind of looks like Doug's and it's <laughs> doing amazing things for him. And he says, thank you, Doug. Um, we have another question here. Um, Amy, would you like to come up? Please bear with us a minute. She's going to come to the camera. Sure. Cardio Plus, this is a regarding the Cardio Plus. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, my question is uh, for people that have um, rest a really high resting heart rate, like in the high 90s or low 100s, that may have other things too, or it just goes, you know, crazy sometimes, you know? Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll share that when I started uh, my venture with the cell defender, I didn't know that any of the other products, they didn't exist in, in my understanding. I was just introduced to uh, uh, the cell defenders, Zeolite. My resting heart rate was 87 beats a minute with an 82% oxygen and about 20 breaths a minute. I have one of these Garmin watches that records everything. And I went back and I looked uh, within six weeks on just cell defender, my resting heart rate moved to 67 beats, hundred percent oxygen and uh, 14 breaths a minute. It is currently 57 beats per minute and it's 11 breaths um, and a uh, hundred percent oxygen. And so I believe that as you clean out the toxins that are in the bloodstream and the lymphatic system first, and then the toxins that are in the organs next, your body is running more efficiently. So your heart rate can go down as a seven day resting heart rate. The, the, the cardio care is a whole new level above in giving your body the components it needs to fix these sort of uh, issues. Your body is constantly replacing cells. Every six weeks, you're replacing 40% of the cells in your body. And of course, the, the tissue takes months and years, and so does the bones. They, they take, you know, uh, decades. And so 40%, your intestinal tract, uh, your blood, your lymphatic 
fluid, all of these things that are replaced all the time, uh, the cardio care is so important for being able to help the body um, do good things. The mind and vision the same way in a different area. And so the cardio care taking three a day, I know a lot of people that are taking six a day because there are some, there's some research out there that, that talks about uh, really good benefits by taking a little extra. So again, Rick's formulated over 200 products. He is absolutely brilliant pharmaceutical biochemist. None of our products have any contraindications with any medicines out there. Uh, with the exception of the the cell defender and platinum chemotherapy those two have to be used a little bit separately but everything else has been run against the products and we have no contraindications with any medicines so that's a wonderful thing too when you have a pharmaceutical biochemist who is also a nutritional biochemist and and these products uh many of our products he's produced before uh, for a company called Rexall 25 years ago and had huge results back then. And he's just simply saved it for his own company now, Avini Health being that company. Yeah. Does that answer your question? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, any other questions? Terry, you have a question? I have a question with the interaction of methyltrexate. That's a, uh, some sort of team. Can she, they see you or no? I why don't you come over here so they can hear you? All right, this is okay. Hello. Hi. I just had a question. My mom has RA and she's on methyltrexate, and I wanted her on the cell defender. But you said uh, the chemo is that does that is some sort of chemo medication? Do with that? Yeah, have only only chemo that has the word plata in it. P L A T I, okay. the platinum based. Uh, there's only a couple of them. They're they're not uh, used very much. And so it's pretty rare. Any other chemotherapy, there's actually six studies that we present at Vini Health Training that were done by universities that talk about the benefits to patients who take clinoctilolite while they're going through chemotherapy to remove the chemo after it's done its job. It's oh. just the platinum based. It kind of removes it before it does its job. So uh, we, of course, stop taking it the day before the platinum's taken. And then after the platinum's finished, you start it up two days later. And uh, and there's two studies just on that, the benefits of the product uh, taken before and after platinum chemotherapy. Um, uh, imagine the chemotherapy doesn't leave the body easily at all. Most of the chemotherapies are heavy metals and poisons. And so you want it to do its job, which is typically in the first three or four days. And then the cell defender encapsulates it from the blood and then removes it via the urine channel, bypassing all of your normal detox channels. So if your colon has leaky gut, your, your, your um, gallbladder is stopped up, your liver is not functioning well, those are your normal detox channels. Maybe you don't eat enough fiber to remove the toxins from your body. We're bypassing all of those detox channels by encapsulating the toxins inside the cell defender. When it gets to the kidneys, the kidney is like, oh, this is dirt. And it kicks it out through the urine. And so the, the zeolite hides the metals and toxins inside the cage, grounds them out. So the body doesn't even know when they leave, it's bypassing the entire normal detox channel that's the powerful that's why we're able to detox 15 times faster or at 15 times more than your normal excretion rate okay thank you yeah okay we do have another question you want to come over here yay okay are we given extra points for uh those that ask questions yes. extra points? they're yes, getting please. they're getting a hey, i know her <laughs> hey doug Hi. Uh, good to be here tonight. Thank you so much. We're happy to have you. Um, I wanted to ask you about plus relief because my mom um, has a couple of bulging discs in her spine. That's the one. And she has the spray and she has like all three. And we were just wondering what you would recommend as far as application and usage and, and so forth. What would you recommend for that? 
Yeah, so Rick Rick talks about that taking the oral spray kind of travels through the whole body. <clears throat> of course, of course, the plus relief are peptides from a type of cobra, um, the venom of a cobra. They we've denatured the venom, gotten rid of the the part that harms, and now these peptides are naturally attracted to some receptors on all of your cells that transfer pain. Also, the white blood cell has the same receptor called acetylcholine receptor, and it attaches to that and will stop inflammation. And so since it is a homeopathic drug and it's registered as that, we can make claims that we can't make with any of the other products. We can make claims that it helps with arthritis, helps with pain and inflammation, and it's natural and safe. Uh, more than 47 human trials done on the, uh, the peptides, absolutely brilliant. We, of course, have some of our own studies on, on the product. Um, when you apply the gel topically, you put it on, you leave it wet, just a thin little layer that's wet. It absorbs at about three minutes. So then five, six minutes later, you can put on another layer when that's dried. And you do that three, four times over the same area. What we found is that the body absorbs it faster when you've repeated it quickly. And it, it improves the fit of these peptides into the receptors and it helps it work. So I've talked to people say, I put the gel on and I, it didn't work for me. And then I take the gel, I put it on their skin. Five minutes later, we do it again. Five minutes later, do it again. By the third or fourth time, 100% of the time that I've seen, the pain and inflammation start going down. It's very, very beneficial because the body is uh, grabbing the peptides, bringing them over and inducing the fit on the receptors. It's temporary. It's not going to fix the problem that caused the pain and inflammation, but it'll block it. It's up to 600 times stronger than morphine. And it gets stronger with use, but you have to reapply it, reapply it, reapply it. And for some people, we don't know necessarily why, when you stop the pain and the inflammation for a period of time, it's like the body forgets why there was pain and inflammation there, and it seems to go away. We talk to people and they say, I don't have to use it anymore. It's been a month and my back or my neck or whatever is not, hard, not hurting anymore. And so that's, that's a powerful uh, attribute. Great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. For Oral that. spray is stronger per spray. You need less of it. You can spray it on your skin also, but taking it orally requires two or three days to, of taking it three, four or five times a day to, to really have it start working. They also found that it is immunomodulatory, meaning it helps you feel better. You actually have a better outlook each day, less anxiety, simply using it because of the benefits of the peptide and and the induced fit. Yeah, she she has mentioned that from the use of the spray that she has an overall sense of feeling a little more relaxed. That's certainly yes. true. Yeah, thank you for yeah. that. And 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 they they believe it's balancing the dose hormones, your dopamine and oxytocin and serotonin, tonin and your norepinephrine, that they sort of balance better based on the white blood cell stopping inflammation. But we don't know. Great. Very powerful. Thank you. Okay, yeah, I see. Yeah, thank you. Question. Mm -hmm. Edward. Uh, yes, Edward has a question. Yeah, let me add him to the spotlight. There we go. All right, Edward, go ahead. Okay. Can you hear me? No, not uh, very well. Barely. Can you okay. speak up a little more? There you go. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. So uh, which product would address ringing in your head? Very good question. <clears throat> um, a lot of people share their testimonies that the cell defender, which is removing the metals and toxins from the body, uh, seems to have the most benefit for the, the ringing in the ears, um, that high pitch sort of sound. Uh, we also have recently had people share that the mind and vision. So anytime you benefit the mind, it seems to help the vision also that 
it seems to also help the ears. We have some people who their hearing seems to improve taking the mind and vision. Um, I think the cell defender is the most important product because a lot of what our body deals with is simply the burden of these heavy metals and toxins on our liver. If it's burdening the liver, the liver doesn't make enough glutathione, less glutathione, the body doesn't do as well. And if you look up ringing in the ear issues, it's tied to glutathione in the body. So simply removing the burden off the liver of these toxins by, by fast tracking them out through the zeolite seems to be the most effective way. But again, there's, there's testimonials where you can hear people share their specific issues. And um, we, of course, don't make any claims whatsoever directly as a company. Okay, yeah. great. Does, Thanks. That, does that answer your question? Uh, yeah, that, so that would be the one to try is the mind and eye vision. Mind and vision after taking cell defender. Yeah, at the, at oh. the time, take cell defender also. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. We have another question here in the house. Okay. Adelta, Hi, Rick. This is Adelta. Nice to see you again. Uh, Doug, I'm sorry. That's all right. Sorry. Um, question. What's your take on um, using the cell defender with a pacemaker? Yeah, it won't have any, it won't have any uh, negative attribute at all. You're perfectly safe with a pacemaker. Mm -hmm. uh, what's interesting is if you, uh, if you go online, uh, to Google, and you type in arsenic and AFib, or arsenic and um, electrical pulses. You start putting that in there, small, small amounts of arsenic that end up in the tissue being stored there by the liver seems to affect these electrical issues. Mm -hmm. And uh, we think that the the body has the ability, of course, to remove these toxins and get them out of the way. Uh, the cell defender makes it easy to get it out of the body. And so uh, the benefit would be taking cell defender at maybe a higher dose instead of twice a day, maybe you're taking four times a day or six or eight, whatever you want. There's no, there's no maximum. Your body will take 10 to 15 drops every hour into the bloodstream. And uh, that's completely safe for the blood. The blood will will limit how much goes into it. So it's very beneficial. The more you take though per hour, what we call the crisis dose, uh, can cause your body to detox faster. So you may feel a little more sick or you need these other products to help slow that. But as far as removing toxins, four times a day, rarely triggers any detox effects and very beneficial for your body. Removing the what's in your body that doesn't belong is probably the most important factor for helping yourself, um, uh, helping yourself stay healthy. And it would be something you would be able to see in six or eight weeks, I would think. Okay. All right. Just as long as, you know, I, I just wanted to be sure that it doesn't. Yeah, there's no negative whatsoever. We got lots of people with pacemakers on the product mm -hmm. and they share their testimonials about, um, about heartbeat mm -hmm. on, on uh, Avini health training or Avini testimonials. You can go there and type in uh sporadic heartbeat, things like that. And you'll get to hear from them directly sharing right. their testimonials. You know, we don't, we don't make medical claims. In fact, we don't use medical terms. We, we stay out of the entire medical field uh, because our products, uh, our products have studies that show how effective they are at cleaning the body, removing toxins, uh, benefits that are tied to cleaning the body. What effect you have from it is strictly a unique benefit for you. And so if you can hear from somebody else that has this unique benefit for them, uh, that that's a powerful um, supporting uh, information for you. Thank you. For sure. thank, thank you, Doug. Are there any uh, more questions? This has been so informative. We have, uh, we, uh, we have another question. Okay, coming forward. Come on up. 
Hi, Hi. this is Kelly. Is it okay? Is that a I'm Hi. Right. Oh. But he didn't hear your question. I'm a Delta's guest tonight. And my question is if you're uh pretty much used to taking herbal teas, would the cell defender clash with it or is it recommended to be as a standalone cell defender? That's a great question. So I ran into this uh, where nowadays people to try to in, uh, improve their health, like I did uh, 15, 20 years ago, where I was doing, uh, I was doing enemas, caffeine enemas. I was doing all kinds of detoxing processes. I was taking uh, herbal teas, senna tea, um, cilantro, spinach. I, I was consuming lots of detoxifying foods, right? And I believed at the time that my body's got rid of all the toxins. They just miraculously left my body without really understanding the process of what it takes to get the toxins out of your body. Uh, detoxing of heavy metals, chemicals, toxins, whichever's in that bad cell that you detox, you're not going to detox healthy cells. So you're basically, and when the, when the certain uh, chemicals come in, so we'll use uh, cilantro as an example. Uh, cilantro has some nutraceutical chemicals that trigger white blood cells to search out bad cells. And so they, they find a, a little area with some bad cells where there's dysfunction going on. Maybe it's a frequency thing or something. And so the white blood cell starts triggering destruction of these bad cells, or the bad cells might uh, cause their own destruction. Uh, apoptosis. Well, they're not leaving the body. They're just simply breaking apart, dumping all of their components into the bloodstream, which travel back to the liver. Mm -hmm. Now, the liver has to then break stuff up. It has 500 jobs, protein, uh, managing proteins in the, in the body, uh, managing sugar. It's the liver that manages your, your sugar, not the pancreas. Pancreas is produces insulin. And so the liver is overwhelmed and can't do its regular job. So if you look at the liver, there's two quarts a minute being cleaned of blood by the liver every single minute. That means every five minutes, the entirety of your bloodstream is being cleaned as well as the lymphatic system. And so your body is overwhelmed by arsenic that comes back the body turns it into a metalloprotein, goes to store it. It's storing it because it can't really get rid of it. There's processes to get rid of it, but they're dependent. So I'll give you an example. The liver can attach uh, certain toxins, we'll say heavy metals, to the bile and then push them out through the gallbladder and then out in the intestinal tract. Now, if you happen to have a an activated charcoal or a zeolite or um, different types of clays. Um, it'll grab that or, is, or fiber, 30, 40 grams of fiber. It would grab those, the bile, bind it up and take it out through the colon. But if you're not eating fiber when it pushes it out, that bile is reabsorbed along with the toxins attached to it within three to four feet in the intestinal tract because your body's very efficient. So if it doesn't get absorbed by the fiber or whatever uh, um, elating agent in the colon or in the intestinal tract, it'll be taken out um, through, the, uh, the, through the back end. If it does get through to there, the colon, if you have leaky gut, or again, you don't have enough fiber, it's the highest absorbable material anywhere on the planet. It's gonna absorb that back in through your intestinal tract, through your colon. So the idea that the body gets rid of these toxins in small amounts is true. In large amounts, not so true. So your body's storing them, which is why it's triggering fat production, is your body needs more fat to store more of these metals and toxins. Every time it gets triggered, toxins coming in, it's triggering more fat production. So you're constantly fighting against the fat production. Even if you're not eating fat, your body's trying to put it on as a storage. And the same thing is, let's say you decide to go on a diet 
you're going to go on a keto diet and you lose 20 pounds of fat and you're feeling good. What happened to all the toxins and metals that were in that fat? When it dissolved the fat due to good dieting, all those toxins are dumped onto your liver. And if the liver doesn't have a fast way for them to leave, they are redistributed throughout your body. Mm. And this is why people, when they go through a, a diet and they lose 15 or 20 or 30 pounds, they end up with some health issues. And it simply shows up because the liver is trying to restore. So if you're on a daily detox kick that's detoxing into the blood, you're causing your liver to be more overwhelmed than somebody who isn't eating these detoxifying agents because your body is storing it. So the person with maybe 15 or 20 pounds of fat is keeping the toxins out of the bloodstream allowing the liver to function better. And I meet people all the time that eat really, really clean. They exercise, they drink lots of water and they have fatty liver and they have adrenal fatigue and they're 125 pounds. They don't have any fat on them. So why do they have a fatty liver? Mm. I believe it's the liver's trying to, to store these toxins somewhere and it has to do it where it can control it because your body due to your eating habits is, is your body needs a certain amount of fat to burn as energy. And so it's going to burn that if you're dieting. So I tell people you need to detox before you diet. You need to get the toxins out of your bloodstream, out of your lymphatic system. You'll find it easier to diet. And then, then you slowly remove those toxins that are making their way back to the liver. They get grabbed by the zeolite. They go through the liver. Liver's like, oh, that's dirt. Kicks it through. There's no time taken from the liver to kick the zeolite through. When the kidney gets it, kidney's like, oh, this is dirt. Kicks it out through the urine, bypassing the burden on the liver, the burden on the kidneys. That's the brilliance of cell defender. It's the right size. It's cleaned out, activated made to exchange good metals for bad metals. And then it's quickly out of the body within six to eight hours, all the zeolites out of the body, full of metals and toxins. That's the power of what Cell Defender does. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, just one more question. So if if an individual was to do uh, internal cleanse first, let's say you did it for like three days or five days, like would a liver be, cleanse or a gallbladder cleanse? Yes. Then it would be recommended to start the cell defender or could you just jump right into it? You could take it all through there. Um, I, I personally do gallbladder cleanses um, because I can see the difference. I can, I can clean out the stones in the gallbladder. You can measure it uh, where it comes out. Those are beneficial, but that doesn't mean any metals or chemicals got attached to the bile and went through it's just taking what's in the the gallbladder and the and the beginning part of the the liver where the bile pushes stones out and it's cleaning that which is very beneficial i mean there's 5500 gallbladders a day being taken out surgically right. which i think is ridiculous but um but as far as internal cleanses i don't think we're actually getting the toxins that we think we're getting out of the body the, the liver is trying to store them out of the bloodstream on purpose. And we're trying to pull those toxins back out of the tissue, putting them back in the bloodstream to then burden the liver. And that's why we're overwhelmed. That's why our glutathione levels go down because the liver doesn't have time to make glutathione, doesn't have time to send enzymes and hormones to the thyroid or to the pancreas or to the pituitary or the penile gland or the testicles. All of these factors get tied into time. If it takes a minute to turn an arsenic into a metalloprotein or mercury into a metalloprotein, that's a minute it's not running everything else. And so we really need to work with our liver and not against it. That's, that's, that's my take. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Doug, it's a different way to look at the information, isn't it? 
We have another we have another question. I'm gonna bring her in, Nikita. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to say something about the last question. I wanted to say, um, my sister, she has an autoimmune disease and she does a lot of toxin detoxing with um oh I, I don't hear you anymore. Are you there? Yeah. Uh, and I had to um like research a lot about it. Like, how does it work? What is, what, what's the good thing, the best way to tell her to, to use it? And um, in my research, it, you know, every detox is affecting one organ, you know, that organ to get that toxins out of that organ. And what's amazing is that our cell defender, it affects our blood. So it's, it's only concentrating on our blood. It's going to clean out whatever's in there and get it out of there. So that I live and put it in the bloodstream. But having that key, that arrow, that, that cell defender, it grabs those toxins and quickly eliminates it out of the blood. So it's awesome to have those as a conjunction. You can have any on detox you want, you know, liver, kidney, anyone. But <laughs> taking the cell defender is like the key to that. You know, it's like, this is the, the key that everyone's missing. Because like what Doug was saying, you can take those, those toxins out of the liver and you're dumping them in the bloodstream. But what is your bloodstream going to do? It just has a ton of toxins in there that's going to create a, you know, a whole bunch of, you know, a whole bunch of activities in your body that it can't handle. So having that cell division defender to take that out of the blood is an awesome key to help in conjunction to any Excellent. Thank you for sharing. So one, one, uh, two additions to that. So one of the other challenges is when you, when you pull the toxins out of the blood, let's say they go, you have this metal going along the zeolite and it goes inside, let's assume mercury and it goes inside. It immediately disappears from the body's view. The body doesn't see it anymore because the electrical signal or the electrical field has now disappeared inside the cage. So immediately the electrolytes of the bloodstream drop, which triggers the body to look for a like-minded metal, say more mercury, and push it into the bloodstream to get the electrolytes back. This electrolytic gradient is grabbing toxins that the need for homeostasis of the electrolytes is grabbing toxins in tissue where the body knows where they're at and pulling them back into the bloodstream to rebalance the electrolytes. Mm -hmm. So you don't necessarily need to have detoxing agents in the foods to pull that out of the tissue and put it back into the, the bloodstream. The use of the zeolite and the successful grabbing of these metals will automatically trigger the tissue to bring the toxins in at the rate that the body's taking them out. So you're not forcing an overload on the system by taking too much cilantro. I met a gal uh, uh, who's eating a bunch, literally a bunch of cilantro twice a day, has been doing it for two years. She's as sick as she's ever been. And, and so I got her to stop doing that while she starts on cell defender so she could uh, detoxify faster. The other really important thing, and this was something that, that it gets glossed over because nobody knows what the term displacement means. We think of car engines, right? But there's this term displacement that Rick talks about all the time. Basically, when you have mercury in the bloodstream, the body is, it's displacing up to 14 other metals out of the bloodstream to get the same electric charge. So between eight and 14 other, let's say potassium or magnesium or calcium are removed from the bloodstream because it would be the same electrical field as the mercury. So simply in the process of mercury going into the cage, now the cage has made that mercury go away, the chance the body keeps more calcium and magnesium and potassium in the bloodstream mm. goes way up quickly. It could be happening in moments. When that happens, your entire hormone production of your body from one endocrine gland all the way to the other is regulated by calcium and magnesium ratios in the bloodstream. Potassium and sodium ratios in the bloodstream manage the effective 
in and out of cells, what's called a sodium potassium pump. And so transport of hormones through the bloodstream, manufacturing of them, transport, all dependent on calcium magnesium ratios. And simply the act of grabbing the toxins out of the blood, having them go in the empty cage, which makes them disappear, is helping your body run better. When Rick says your body will function much better simply using Cell Defender. If you take away everything else, just the process of using Cell Defender makes your body more efficient. And okay. they call that displacement, which I never understood what it meant until it was explained to me. And now I'm like, everybody's got to know this. So the good news is that um, we have recorded this. So if you uh, took notes, wonderful. If you haven't, we're going to have this recording up on the Avini training, health training. We're going to, in light of time, uh, Doug, thank you so much. Kelly has a question. Kelly, you're going to be our last question tonight. And then we're going to let you all go. Um, but I do want to just thank you, Doug. Kelly, come on. And then I just have one announcement and let Doug close that right after Kelly's uh, question. Go ahead, Kelly. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you so much. It's, oh, I'm just loving this information. Thank you, Doug. I have, um, I've had great results with my mom and with me, but now I'm still, I'm, I'm dealing with insulin resistance. I used to do keto and I still do it, but I'm kind of, kind of not, I'm trying to wean myself and try to be a balance. It, but I, I really still watch what my, my, starches and things of that nature but i'm i am faithful i use the product uh all of pretty much the sweet dealing with fiber i do it twice a day uh, i do the cell defender i um have the humidity um uh, i have even the um, nano silver so I, I i'm working in working through it but i'm still fighting the insulin resistance i'm trying to figure out when you're, I don't know what to do. Any suggestions would be grateful. Are you on the crisis dose of the cell defender? Yeah, I, I, I was on the crisis dose for a long period of time. Um, and I did get results. It seemed like my body ended up working and, and had the results dealing with, um, colon situation okay. and it's resolved but that the still dealing with this insulin resistance is still being resistant did you go through a process where your urine was the most awful smelling stuff i didn't know that but okay. i had i was fighting diverticulosis for a period yeah. of time yeah um so so here here's the key you want to mm -hmm. take the hourly 10 to 15 drops hourly or whatever amount of times you can do, by week three or four, your urine should smell absolutely awful. I've found okay. that this sort of point seems to be the point where your organs start to be cleaned out. Um, of course, it's just a guess on my part, but I, it's a consistent pattern. You see, if you were to go and watch a few hundred videos, you would see that, that consistently the odor of the urine these toxins coming out, it requires kind of a large amount of product to, to trigger this detox in of these organs. I, I think that may be a big benefit. Also, the secondary thing is our bodies are wanting to react and freak out this hyperimmune switch. So maybe take four of this immunity a day, two in the morning, two at night to help your body relax while you get rid of the toxins. And I find the third thing that's most important I ask people when they start having challenges, slow down on the really good foods for a while. Slow down on the detoxing foods for a couple weeks. Sometimes I tell people don't eat salads for a couple weeks. Try to let your body calm down to let it detox. And then you can go back to salads in a couple weeks. But if you'll get through that part, let your body calm down so it's not overreacting, using this immunity, you're doing great on the fiber, Make sure you drink a bottle of silver somewhere in that period of time and then cell defender. And it's not something you have to do forever, but if you'll do it for two months or even less, it it puts your body in the best situation for it to help itself. And uh, detox is always hard. We're, we're having to repoison the body from stored toxins coming back in the bloodstream. And then we deal with it with the zeolite and then it goes out. 
course, you have to drink lots of water. It takes 14 times more water to remove mercury than it does potassium. It requires more water to grab a heavier metal. And so you have to consume that much more water and the electrolytes. And so our plus hydration, I would be on that twice a day for sure. Um, but these are the things, and it takes time. I, I have some people that's six months into it, but now they're at least able to go outside and pick flowers where they were bedridden and they just needed to get their body detoxing. And everybody's different. It's everybody's unique. So we just have to sort of guide you to the best result for you. Excellent. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, Doug, thank you so much. You know, what you just said is really blessed my heart about someone able to be bedridden. And now you said they're picking flowers out, enjoying life again. And that's what Avini is back about. And uh, we're grateful. I see Chip clapping his hands. So we've been, it's been a long night, but as I said, Doug, we're grateful that you're here with us. Um, we are going to be on a Zoom tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern time, if you'd like to join in again, and then at 12 o'clock uh, noon Eastern time tomorrow as well. If you physically are in New York and you want to come, um, the Greenwood Lake Yoga Studio is hosting this. Uh, it's 89 Windermere Avenue. So feel free to join us physically or um, on Zoom. But Doug, thank you so much for being here. And again, any last parting uh, words for us? We're grateful for you and Neil and Rick and, and your commitment to this company and to our health as well as helping us to be better stewards of our own bodies. Yeah, and invite other people to come in here. And also uh, Chip. Chip is working tirelessly helping uh, answer questions. Uh, he's he's part of the, the group to uh, help change the world. And so uh, thanks for all he does. I, mm -hmm. I I can't tell you how many how many people I talk to and they go, I just got off the phone with Chip. <laughs> and it's seems like hundreds a day. So appreciate everything he does to oh, yeah. uh, yeah, it's really nice to listen for once, and I picked up a lot of good new stuff. Thank you, Doug. You're welcome. All right, everyone. Thank you. And yes, Chip. Chip is always with us on Avini Vibes to help us and answer questions, too. So we're all grateful. So God bless each and every one of you. And we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow, 9 a.m. Eastern, 12 noon Eastern. And Carol Witt, thank you for always being there to record this. Absolutely. All right. Out, go out and rock it, Avini Vibes. That's what we call it. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> bye, boy. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye.